Hi everybody. In today's video, we're going to talk about how strength training reduces heroin self-administration and how this is relevant to any kind of addiction you have. The one that I deal most of all with is food addiction. People don't like that term. They don't even, they're in denial. So they're, they're generally struggling with what they term as cravings or binge eating. Um, but it's really food addiction. So whichever way you want to look at it, um, this piece of information is critical to help you understand how you can cure those urges, those addictions or cravings or binge eating or yo-yo dieting, and finally achieve your goals once and for all. So I've already reported on another study that's very similar that looked at how strength training reduces cocaine self-administration. I'm not sure which video is going to come out first but they're gonna come out in close succession to one another. So they're both done by the same author, the one that we're gonna talk about right now, and the one that uh, uses um, cocaine as opposed to heroin as the drug. It's Dr. Mark Smith, very well known in the addiction world. He's been studying addiction for decades, and when I did my dissertation on addiction, I remember reading so many of his publications. I'm trying to get him to interview him for my channel. I haven't received an email response yet breaks my heart. So if you know him, pester him. I want him on. <laughs> All right. So strength training reduced heroin self-administration. They've done that on rats. Um, this study was published in 2018. The one on cocaine was published in 2016. The mechanism with which strength training reduces drug administration naturally without having to use any willpower, the way that that happens is by changing dopamine and opioid systems in the brain. It changes the way the dopamine works. Basically, um, it raises your baseline level of dopamine, and it also changes your um, opioid system by changing the receptor function. So this study was published in 2018. It was done on rats. It showed that strength training, and the strength training that they give rats is basically they put them on a vertical lag ladder with a weighted vest, and they have them go up the ladder with the weighted vest. It's really cute. They, it showed that just giving them that, giving them the the this exercise, made them naturally reduce self-administering the heroin that they had free access to. So resistance exercise significantly decreased heroin self-administration, resulting in a downward shift in the dose effect curve. Um, basically, fitter you get with strength training, basically more of a pronounced effect you get with natural self-reduction of drug abuse. So the fitter you are, the more dopamine you have, the higher pain thresholds when it comes to the opioid system in the brain, the less likely you are to want to consume a drug or engage in an addictive behavior. If you're not thinking that, you know, the cravings is a form of an addiction, then basically you can interpret that as saying the more strength training you do, the fitter you get, the stronger you get, you'll naturally not have those cravings. You'll naturally not have those binge eating episodes. There is a correlation between the dose and the effect. So the more of that exercise dose you're getting, the more pronounced the beneficial effects of the less binge eating um, and the less cravings. So yeah, there you have it. Um, another thing is that resistance exercise decreases the positive reinforcing effects of heroin, meaning you don't like the drug as much. So the, the fitter you are, the more your brain doesn't react when you engage with a drug. So the more fit you are, the less likely you are to like cupcakes or pizzas. It's like, it's almost like ostigating of you even thinking about that. It's kind of like how people like to take drugs so that they're no longer interested in food or it doesn't really make them feel too great. Instead of taking the drug to make you not have any enjoyment of those foods, why not train harder? Because training harder is going to make you not care about those addictive foods, but it's going to also raise your enjoyment of more natural things. So you're going to enjoy life more. You're getting, your baseline level of dopamine is going to be higher. So yeah, this mirrors how you won't enjoy addictive foods naturally as you get fitter and fitter with your exercise program. And this is why I work so heavily with getting my clients fitter and fitter and fitter. Uh, there is a dose at which success is guaranteed. There is a dose at which it is guaranteed that you're no longer going to binge eat. It is guaranteed you're no longer going to have cravings. Uh, most of my clients is food related, but I mean, this applies to all and any addiction really. Alrighty, I hope this was helpful. Check out my group coaching. If you want to ask me your questions and get um, very personalized advice, I need all of my meetings personally. 
we talk about so many things. We talk about, we even talk about social media, you know, like things uh, that can affect whether or not you are following your meal plan and training. Because if your finances or your careers aren't inspiring you, then maybe you need a change. Maybe you do want to start a YouTube channel or social media. So we talk about that. We talk about carnivore diets or keto diets or any kind of diet you're on. We talk about dopamine. We talk about how to lose weight. We talk about how to maintain weight. Um, we talk about all of the challenges that most people face when wanting not to yo-yo diet anymore. So we talk about so many things. Some people just want to talk about, you know, skin issues and how carnivore can help their skin issues, autoimmune diseases anything and everything within the realm of what I do. So check that out. And uh, yeah, I hope you liked this content. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that little notification bell icon so YouTube alerts you every time I post a new video. I think this is probably the fastest time that I've said this outro. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.